Hi guys, it's Matthias, and here is another one of those videos about shit going boom. Notice how I have a spawn there at sea, but there's a tank there, so I decided to switch out my incendiary grenade for the light anti-tank grenade. And I'm sure you understand the reasoning behind that. Sometimes picking the right tools for the right situation makes all the difference in the world. Sometimes you'd fail just the same or succeed just the same anyway. Yeah, man! The light anti-tank grenade. That's why you switch. Now, there are, of course, a variety of different ways to take out tanks. What you see here is just the way I've chosen to play. Not saying that this is the best way or a better way than you do it if you have a different way of approaching tanks, but this is just how I do it. Oh, ho, 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 I got it. Wow. We have lost objective There we go! Holy shit, that was a fight! So now more and more I'm getting comments about the SMG weight being overpowered and a noob weapon. The strange thing about that is that among the usage of SMGs in Battery 1, it is less than 4% that is this particular weapon. I'm not saying it's a bad weapon, not at all, but for a lot of players I think there are better choices. Either way, as you can see, many times taking out tanks is a lot of sacrifice and it requires more than one try. And sometimes when you try, you actually end up killing a completely different tank than the one you were actually going for. It happens all the time and here is another example. Oh, I got it. But I got the wrecked. What, are you sniping now? Nah. Trying to be the medic. But you get always shot in the back when you try to heal somebody. Kill the tank. We have taken objective Charlie. Oh! That double kill though. And another one. So yeah, this is probably the most controversial part of the video, using AT rocket against infantry. Now, it's kind of funny how I got a double kill there, but the thing is that with the AT rocket gun, you do very little splash damage, so if you want to reliably kill infantry with it, you better hit the target. While in other games in the Battlefield franchise, it was enough to just hit the wall or the ground next to an enemy, and you would get the kill. Therefore, it didn't require much aim, giving rockets a bad reputation of being a noob weapon that anyone could use even without aiming. That's not really the case with the AT rocket in this game though. Here's the thing that some of you guys might react on. See how I can consistently throw these uh, anti-tank grenades. And the reason why I can do that uh -huh. is because that uh, whatever window. gadget you hold in your hands is the first one to be uh, resupplied yeah, yeah. when standing be. on or next to one of those ammo crates. So if you time it correctly, you can actually just keep throwing those anti-tank grenades, which is very useful, especially against tanks that are receiving repairs. So yeah, as you can see, I prefer to try to keep my distance from the tanks, but if I can, still close enough so that I can hit them with the grenades. I have over 5,700 kills with the AT rocket gun, about 4,500 kills with the anti-tank grenade, and close to 1,500 kills with the light anti-tank grenade. All in all, I've destroyed about 82,000 vehicles. So yeah, I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. He doesn't have ammo.
No, <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> Get owned. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Watch out, kill gun. Yeah. Can't stay on the same position too long. Never know how many people are watching the stream. There we go. I shoot that plane is being countered. I'll shoot me the other plane now. I got the plane. I got him. There we got it again. Yes, I did a lot of hits. AA on F. What? My game just crap. My game just froze. My game absolutely just cr uh, froze. Uh -huh, no problem. What a good revive. They have a tank. Got a few hits. No, I wanted to kill it. What the fuck?
Oh, this is so freaking hard. That's what she said.